In conifers, the same diploid sporophyte plant has both male pollen-bearing cones called microstrobili and female seed-bearing cones called megastrobili. A female cone is a modified stem bearing a tight cluster of scales, which are reduced branches specialized for reproduction. A male cone is a cluster of scales that are modified leaves inserted on an axis. Female gametophytes are produced in the megastrobili, whereas male gametophytes come from microstrobili. Megastrobili are much larger than microstrobili. The megasporangium, in which the female gametophyte will form, is enclosed in a protective layer of sporophytic tissue, the integument, that will eventually develop into the seed coat. The integument, the megasporangium inside it, and the tissue attaching it to the maternal sporophyte constitute the ovule. The megasporocyte within the megasporangium undergoes meiosis to produce four haploid megaspores, only one of which is functional. The non-functional megaspores degenerate while the functional megaspore divides mitotically and the resulting cells divide again to produce a multicellular female gametophyte. Male gametophytes develop in a similar manner. The scales of the microstrobilus contain microspore mother cells. Meiosis gives rise to haploid microspores, which in turn mature into pollen grains, the male gametophytes. The production of male gametophytes in the form of pollen grains frees the plant completely from its dependence on liquid water for fertilization. Instead of water, wind assists conifer pollen grains in their travel from the microstrobilus to the female gametophyte inside the megastrobilus. The tiny pollen grain enters through a small opening in the integument at the tip of the ovule, the micropyle. The pollen grain germinates, forming a pollen tube. When the pollen tube reaches the female gametophyte, it releases two sperm, one of which degenerates after the other unites with an egg. Following fertilization, the sporophyte embryo begins to develop within the ovule, while the integument matures into the seed coat that protects the embryo. The conifer seed contains tissues from three generations, the diploid embryo, the haploid gametophytic tissue, which supplies nutrients for the developing embryo, and the seed coat, which develops from tissues of the sporophyte parent, the integument. The seed eventually falls to the ground and, under suitable environmental conditions, germinates to form a new pine tree.